I am Exi. And I am Lini. Together, Together we, we bring you African Tea Pot Podcast. Journey with us through Africa's vast variety of culture and heritage to discuss how this affects families both home and abroad. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this podcast. Welcome back, African Teapot family. This is another episode of the African Teapot Podcast. I'm your host, Lini, and the other part is going to be... Liris! Hey, guys! So this episode is going to be a little bit different because, unfortunately, Edna isn't... Her voice isn't feeling too well, so Liris decided to bring her energy... Yep, superwoman! ...to us today. You know... The podcast it is saving, and of course, I was up to the task. Okay, okay, okay. Cape down. You're okay. Let's talk about the podcast. <laughs> and so, uh, this is Halloween, and we found it fitting that we bring you guys something that is Halloweeny, spooky, pretty much. So, before we get into that, Lini, uh, we just wanted to put recognition in as this is um, Breast Cancer and Ant and Anti Bullying Month. So. To all the survivors of bullying, breast cancer, and those still fighting bullying and breast cancer, stay strong. We'll be here praying for you guys. I hear you, and pretty much same thing that she said. Y'all are strong. Y'all are surviving. No to bullies. No to bullying. And yes to everyone who put up the fight, who is still fighting cancer, and who is going to have that fight. Um... This episode of the podcast is going to be called The Dark Part of Africa. Okay, now when we say this, it's not really like black, dark. We're kind of, you know, trying to be cool and stuff. But uh, we just wanted to bring things like... I mean, tradi- superstition, maybe traditions that are a little bit, I wouldn't say dark, but just we could, that's much as we could get it to be spooky in any way for Halloween. Yeah, so like we said, some of it would be tradition, the masquerades, juju, as we call it, mm-hmm. the forefathers, country fashion, blood pack, money rituals. And if you saw our uh, little flyer on on Instagram, I just want to put a disclaimer out here. We don't know how to spell pigeon. <laughs> so if you probably read it, you'll be like, what were they trying to say? This is what we were trying to say. Wait till I no know the see, mind the fear. That is what we were trying to say. Um, but we tried our best and, you know, trying to figure out how to spell it. So we're going to dive straight into it. Laris, do you want to say the first thing we're going to dive into that we want to talk about so the first thing we're going to dive into is superstition so i think every place kind of has their own superstitions but specifically for us we have the itchy palm um black cats yeah where... and when we talk about the itchy palms it's like weird like you know this feeling when you wake up and it's like I don't know like you can feel like a tingling really, in when your you wake palms up? not not like when you wake up i mean like you know when you realize it, <laughs> <laughs> but it's always it's almost like because it's weird. And I think it's a little weird for your palms to itch. Like it's just a weird part to itch. It's weird, but it's a weird part to itch, and it's it's, it's almost like you can never really scratch it mm-hmm. to like be satisfied. Anyways, um, mushroom. Yeah, but you know, going back to the itchy palm, that means money is coming because money goes in your palm. That means you're gonna get money. Money is coming. So I've just been. I'm always gonna be broke. I don't, I, mean, I, 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 I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay, anyways. And then, when you see the black cat, what do you think that means? Like, when you see a black cat? Evil. Yes. <laughs> okay, what? I, I, there's just something about black cats that just, it doesn't sit well with me. And I, I know, need to leave the area, the vicinity, the country, the continent. And you know why? <laughs> superstition. You don't realize it, but it's all superstition. I, I know, yeah. but I just don't like them too. <laughs> I don't why would you create something so dark? And they always have like these golden eyes, which at night, it's just sitting there like someone thinks something just watching you. That is okay, creepy, bro. okay, okay. To everyone who owns black cats out there, keep them away. <laughs> 
from Lyris. But um, I know what she means. Back home, you come out, you see a cat, you're like, ooh, it's almost like this airy feeling. Like, oh, you are Afro, you are. Everyone understands this thing when I say it. If you're West African, especially, your village people are coming for you. Yep. That means the mommy waters and the, you know, they're coming for you. <laughs> that is what the black cats mean. And then you know the little mushrooms that you wake up one morning and. It means someone has died. Sorry. I can't. Oh, well, thank I, you. It just popped in my head, guys. When. Okay. Winnie, please go ahead. No, please. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all you, girl. You seem to got this. So basically, if you just wake up one day and you go outside your house, it's a bunch of mushrooms, a specific kind of mushroom. Um. Back in Cameroon, or maybe Baminda anyways, we usually cook it and eat it with achu. For those who love, like achu bafut people, some mankom people, hello. hi <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mushroom, that means that someone is about to die or has died, right? I know. Which is so, sad yeah. and consider So it's almost like an airy feeling. You wake up and... I, like people say superstition and i don't want to be like oh i believe in superstition it, I, but it's weird because i feel like it's happened to me i feel has. like before the death of um um before it was the death of our uncle and there's one other person we woke up and those were in front Mushrooms of the house everywhere it was and then you hear the person's gone so it's like was that like how am i not supposed to believe what you can't that tell is me that's a coincidence so I hate the person who is like, oh, each pounds means I have money. I be that one has never been true, but because you don't have money, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so what do you think a twitching leg means? Like you know when you're, it's like okay. The for me, it always happens with my eyes. I mean, sometimes we're talking about ma the leg. Oh really? I've I not, thought the eyes were included. Uh, no, now I've asked you. Anyway, twitchy <laughs> leg. I know the right one means good luck. It means that something good is about to happen. The left one, run. Oh, uh, so I guess we kind of see it different. On my part, I I've always heard a twitching leg or something means you're about to carry a baby. You're about to have a baby. <laughs> I don't know where you're from. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> But now, let's can I ask a question? Has your leg twitched? Eh? Where's the baby? Eh? Where is the baby? <laughs> if I said have a baby or carry a baby, I've carried babies. Like it actually. How many? Couple... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Edna, <laughs> come help us. Edna can be on the podcast, but she's sitting here. She's watching us, and she's like, "Y'all are ruining everything of this." <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know. Twitchy eyes and for definitely right. for the eye one. Now let's true? go to twitching eyes. What do twitching yes, eyes mean? The same thing. I don't know where. I don't. I don't know where they are from. This talk they are talking about baby. Like I've never heard it. So what is the twitching eye? Bad luck too. Any part of your body on the left bad luck. I don't care if it's fingernail, <laughs> finger, eyelash, right part. Good luck. Okay, guys. So even we have that frontal headache. And it's only the love temple shaking his bad luck. <laughs> okay, guys, I don't know. It's like, do you guys do it with fire and not? Oh, sorry, kidding, ha. Huh? <laughs> All right, okay. Back to what we're talking about. Like, when we have the twitching left eye, uh, it's supposed to be like, it's like you can feel your eyes twitch and it's uncontrollable. So that is. Bad, bad luck. luck. Why the right eye is supposed to be good luck? So it's like when you feel your bad eyes, literally like when I was a kid, prayer, I will pray for that left eye. And then the right eye is like, yes, what is about to happen? Um, and then do you remember? But one time, I- should I tell you something that happened to me? A funny story. I was about to take an exam or mm-hmm. something. My right eye was twitching now. A girl knew she's making <laughs> no, ninety five hundred seventy five. <laughs> <laughs> At least you passed. I was so disappointed. But you know, on the bright side, you probably didn't study, but you passed. So that was good luck. Uh-uh, are you just insulting me like that? I did not say you're. A stu- uh, sorry. Maybe that. So... Maybe my left eye twitching my entire life is because she was born. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, I'm. So- I am so sorry. Well, well, I'm actually going to stick to the script, and then there's a the, um. And you bite your tongue? Oh, yeah. Do you know what biting the tongue is? Actually, no. 
I've never heard of that. I someone's calling your name. Oh, really? Yes. Some it means someone is talking about you. Someone's calling your name. You're being thought like that's what good it means. or bad way or both. Just both. It's oh, not my thing is I'm always by my tongue. Enough people be talking about me so much. It's a miracle you have one. Can you eat? <laughs> Excuse me. No one asked. So this. So this. So this. <laughs> You're making me stutter. So there's also the eating in the dream. What do you think that is? Eating the dream means I mean different things, but it's bad. You're being initiated usually into a. This is right? the real African speaking. You're being initiated into. Mami water underground, what the spiritual underground, whatever it is. Yeah, but uh, there used to be a time where if you wake up and you tell your mom, I was eating in a dream. They that, baptize you in holy that water. That poor soul that the dream used to feed you, <laughs> definitely in trouble. It was just something that was believed. Uh, whistling at night. What is the thought that goes with whistling at night? The person's about to steal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> joking guys but just movies or when you hear someone is just whistling and trying to make like they're being in sco- oh, wow <laughs> that word did not come out you're trying to be like all vague like nobody can see i'm trying to act like yeah i'm not about to steal then boom they steal you know what i'm talking about in superstition <laughs> whistling at night means you are inviting evil spirits juju people oh. bad people if that is how you stole me we're just <laughs> How do you, you, you don't steal meat from the pot I take. It's my father's house. How do you steal meat from So, pot? guys, moving on to the other part. <laughs> we have masquerades. Ooh, ooh. So, um, what, when you hear masquerades, what, what do you think of? Like, what's that? Juju. How, how would you? Yes, yeah, so, ma- so masquerades and juju is literally the same thing. It's if, and it's usually a thing that is, it's usually like when they're crowning a king, a beginning of a harvest. Like they come out like when there's a death, a Marriage, change, maybe rituals or events. Yeah, it's just pretty much seen as a like a celeb- celebration. I just didn't want to use all celebration because there was death in there. <laughs> but yeah, pr- but yeah, pretty much um, passage of life. But do you know they've actually said like you cannot see the the be- true people. Some of them you can't see. I heard a story. Of course, you're not going to give you all the juice. I heard a story once that this lady saw Juju and went mad. I think it's true. But I didn't see it though. But I think it's true. <laughs> <laughs> and there's also stories that uh, women and kids are not allowed to see some particular like masquerades or the, yep. or the Juju's. Yeah. So it's like, um, if you see it, like I know I think it's from Bafood really yes. where there's one that if you see you can't have kids or something like that or is that what happens when you see it correct me if I'm wrong I tried but some of these facts are hard to verify they're not on the internet so I'm trying with hearsay the best I can mm-hmm. S- uh, some of them is like you will not survive to the next day so in my advice you've never been to the village you see Juju you see masquerade coming out wrong <laughs> Like that is just pretty much what I have to say about it. But you can look it up on the internet. Some of them, there is actually a beautiful thing the way they dance, the way they moved, and some of them are believed at that time to not be people but be possessed by whatever spirit, whatever god, or you know. Okay, you have a story. <laughs> okay, <laughs> did y'all see this meme where this juju danced and fell? <laughs> and he was naked on the knee. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it was on Instagram, right? He couldn't. Everybody was like, "You know who wear underwear?" But you know what? But those things are hot. Like legs, guys, not like stumbled. Legs yes. in the and air. Then you saw how people ran and grabbed the juice <laughs> Let's bring him down. down. Because, but you know what? I think some of those clothes are hit. But I'm like, guy, even. Underwear. Damn. <laughs> but you know, like they say, they are they are possessed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's true to guys. We're not, please, we're not making fun of tradition. It's just you know, it was just a, something I saw. You know. But ladies, thank you for that. And then one thing that has taken the internet by storm that is becoming loud, Kayamata. 
which I f I'm right is that charm. You see, there we go. But do you know, like, when you actually look, like, it's a couple of things that I have to read. So I'm going to sound scripted because it pretty much is scripted. Everything's gonna be in the show notes where we got all this, all this information. So most common of this kaya matter is actually believed to be. Let me see. Sorry, I. I had to shed a blank moment. I did have a blank moment. So this Kayamata is like it's used in Nigeria and I come from the West African side because I'm West African. It's coming from the West African side and pretty much in the past it was almost like a guy who had many wives would use Kayamata cause its portion is something mixed to be able to have stamina to satisfy four women. Really? Yeah. That's where it from? Yeah. Like, Are you joking? It, yeah, it was pretty much, a, like, when I say portion, like, it's literally like a drink, something that is mixed, and that's what it was supposed to be, or something given to a woman that will help her satisfy her man. But now, Kayamata has taken on to me. When you hear Kayamata, like Lily said, you think of charm, you think of portion. Now, it's something that is used, they describe it as something used to and to capture a man where he sees just you listens to just you and when you hear kayamata it's usually attached to people who just want to take money have money hold you keep you i mean so now it begs me to think that charm and kayamata are different exactly but now so people who believe in this practice of kayamata where it's culture where it's tradition now are faced with this daunting thing of you don't want to say it in public because everyone thinks you're using charm to entrap your spouse mm -mm -mm. times are hard <laughs> times are hard so now you see how people who believe in this are in a tough spot i mean so Kayamata, yeah, I guess it's, it's so. Is it? It's the main purpose of that, just to help with stamina, I guess. When you go back and you reach, so like the origin, I'm asking about yes. the origin. So how? Oh, then people just use kam. So why was it ever mixed up with charm and Kayamata? Because, okay, it was it was a misconception. It's like you have what was a phone created for communication. Now you've come to a times where phones, the social media, people use it in people use it in bullying, people use it in stealing, people use it in doing so much. Kayamata at the start was a good thing. A guy who had many wives. Think of it as modern day this is a bad example. I modern day Viagra, right? So exactly my point. How can Viagra be used for another purpose? People have taken the name and rebranded what they oh, want okay. to sell. Then that that I think that was what I was missing yeah so that's what i mean like you know viagra like that has its med its medical purpose and use right mm -hmm. and also there's some certain conditions if you have you can't you use can't viagra take, yeah yeah so the same thing kayamata has this thing it was linked truly to sex mm -hmm. it was used for sex drive for satisfying people and when you're good at sex people are just like hey you're good at getting the men right so they take it and they rebrand kayamata and oh. use it as a name to sell something else. Okay. Yeah, use it to sell a love potion. Interesting. Yep. Oh wow. I feel I felt like that was a whole class, huh? <laughs> yeah, I I just always thought the word the same thing, but just use different words, just like the same one thing can be called so many words in mm -hmm. different places, yeah. Yeah, well, they are using that word now to do that. <laughs> um, so, uh, one thing we haven't spoken about is a blood pact. You remember when there was, oh, like, it was almost like it was the age of blood yeah, pact. Was, every Nollywood movie, blood pact. Like, it was something that was just there. Like, you watch a movie, and for people who don't know what a blood pact is, or we common... Of or oh, oath or oh, blood oath we commonly the common way i have seen it or heard, heard about it is like oh i love you i love you we cut our hair we mix our blood together we'll be together forever i saw another one it was in a little movie but that was where <laughs> <laughs> that was where i realized they can be used for different things so there were five guys they did everything together if they hunted meat they'll cut it mm -hmm. get the, the money together and share it equally 
or if someone was in trouble to give the person the money so they took a block that none of them should if one of them makes it all you have to make it you have to come out and help everybody mm-hmm. one when uh, found money in the city thought that the mother said what do you mean by you want to go back and share this money with all those boys back there for your hard work they do not do anything she was say, mama you know back in the day they were helping me she said no mama refused guess what the boy woke up dead Ta-na, ta-na. so it's not only for love please be careful out here <laughs> so i pretty much got the idea of what there is to say about a blood pipe a blood pipe was when blood was used to make any kind of promise any kind of oath that you guys were really wanting to keep now the repercussions were different as stories and tradition will tell you and mm-hmm. culture but most of them go death death going mad maybe you promise love you cannot have kids you know just... it would be so funny if you take a blood pack oh my god what are you to say husband or boyfriend and the repercussions of that for the guy you will never be able to perform <laughs> <laughs> why is that funny <laughs> Because you can't cheat. You can't go anywhere. Unless me and you agree that we are done with this relationship. And for the girl too, you will never get there. Just saying. Very wow. Good. Please do not do it. We don't condone blood swapping in any way. Please, this is for jokes. Thank you. Keep going. Guys, um, you have any more questions about a blood pack? <laughs> uh, the next thing I want to talk about is our forefathers. So when we talk about forefathers, um, when I say forefathers, there is explain to us what we're supposed to be thinking. When I think of forefathers, I think of all those uncles that when they want to recommend you, our forefathers. Okay, guys. So when we talk about forefathers, <laughs> we um uh, when you go back in history, we're talking about your an- your ancestors. Like, um, if you've watched uh, Bla- a good one, let me use one that we've all watched, Black Panther, right? You remember when the Black Panther fell? He was in ice, and they were trying to bring him back when he was barely clinging onto a life. And his mom crushed the Purple Heart, the fruit that was supposed to bring the Black Panther. And then she prayed. She was like, "Oh, forefathers, listen. Forefathers is pretty much your the people from your past that are dead. Your your ancestors. Your it's like your ancestry line going way back. If you but." If you think this is weird as you're listening, yes, it is. So, <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get a definition in with lyrics. Oh my goodness. Ooh, so it's like. <laughs> thank you for the, you know. Thank you. So when you think about forefathers, it's like going all the way back. And it almost starts to look like gods of some kind. And I also think. Because. Cool. Sorry, not to go with something that is not really a joke joke because I'm just a comedy. But I also think it's channeling the energy and strength oh, yeah, of your forefather. I think minus our uncles, when someone says that to you in a blessing form, mm-hmm. that's what they mean. Like the blessings of the ancestors be with you because they're believed to be right now. Imulan su- too. Super- yeah, Imulan. They're not believed to be superior people watching over you, protecting you, that you can pray and they have a path for you. That is the forefathers mulan is actually the best best per- perfect example yeah. like that actually sounds good thank you Larry. because they sat down the she was in trouble they yeah. spoke about it wake up the dragon that they'll give strength to to go protect you so i think also protection i think uh, that's what that means too yeah do you know what else we haven't spoken of what money rituals dun, 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 dun. everybody knows this now I don't know if you are West African, listen to these names and tell me what comes to to to, to mind. Okanayo, Okanayo. <laughs> Patient Ozoku. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you're West African and I say this, do you definitely know what that means? Like money rituals, and it's still believed to be a to 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 be a thing. It's like when best way to describe it is like a secret society or a brotherhood or something where they believe that you sacrifice something to get money so i have a question for you lini yeah do you believe it's true uh, yeah <laughs> i do want to sound like that person but i believe 
yeah like when you look at the whole practice of it's almost like someone is um, it's almost like making, making a, a pact a pact with the, with the devil. devil oh my god thank think you. about what is that ghost writer or something yes yeah. but he did it for life not yes. for money but it's the same thing it's like bro you broke you wake up in the morning you can barely eat you can barely pay your bills and you're like you know what i'm going to do guys well you don't think you know what you're going to do <laughs> you go to the baba what is the name in french let me ask exi the, the uh, co-host marabou marabou <laughs> in french is marabou or you go to the baba or you go to the witch doctor or you know just who whoever you're using i'm not sure the other traditions the like spiritual leader you have the dark spiritual leader dark forces. oh it's like going to ursula in Ooh. the little mermaid it's like pretty much going and saying i want money i need it now and they are like okay are you willing to pay the price they always say yes again i have another story oh my god <laughs> Do you know you can now leave a voice message which can just end up on a future episode? All you need to do is follow the voice link on the show notes and we can't wait to hear from you. This Nollywood movie, this boy was broke, said he must make it in his life. The Baba took on from the... and threw to the floor and said, oh. however many the chicken eats is how many years he will live with his newfound wealth. Guess how many the chicken ate to... Guess, Nini. How many grains of, of corn? Three? It was five. Hey, thank God. He even, he even had... I was so basically, he was shouting at the chicken, Eat! Eat! <laughs> but you know what I think? All of those chickens are always fed <laughs> before they bring those chickens out. Oh, they are spiritual chickens. Actually, how are you not sure that's one of the victims who turned into a chicken? How are you not sure the Baba even pre-programmed that chicken to eat five? The chicken is trying to only eat five uh-uh. at a time. And our people. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's pretty wild money riches. And growing up, I can think of rich people in the society, in the community, who they have all believed were... Yes, there was a while that when anyone gets rich, maybe in, I don't know, three years four years not like ridiculously rich but just you know they'll say the money rituals yeah so you say they sacrifice someone unfortunately yes. if your person died i remember i had a friend um her uncle i think he lost a couple of kids like three kids or something and every time people in the side he said when he lost that kid he built a new house when he lost that kid he got a new car it's believed and then people always used to say oh at night if you're in his house you hear weird sounds you hear things flying around had i ever seen it no i haven't i mean you see the guy he's nice but that's the thing what is to to, like we know people that look regular do crazy things so now that i'm like i believe in money rituals like i can't move around having a radar on people's faces it's just sometimes personal belief but what you think. You have to admit, if um, if some people, if you, people that come around you start dying, especially the ones that they say go to America to go and meet your uncle. But have you ever thought that in um, let me not talk about all of Africa, or let me just talk about the small communities in Cameroon where people like you know when people don't get gene tested dna tested and something is True. in the family killing them. It could just be coincidence. I exactly. feel like a lot of it, a lot of. All these superstitions is, is sometimes it's coincidence. Like you know, your potassium level is low or something. You have leg like, cramps and twitching, right? Are you trying to tell me <laughs> I have twitching because of that? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Is your are you drinking through the? Left I mean, side? you're twitching too. So, do you prefer the that possibility or the baby possibility? So, guys, going back to the money ritual situation over here. <laughs> So in the so because you have a society where there's not a crazy amount of money and then you have few people making it and that's what they believe. Sometimes it ends up being due to jealousy. Someone's yes. trying to tarnish your reputation. It's a lot. I don't know why we are this way sometimes, but this there can be a lot of jealousy within us that we can help each other out and we literally sabotage each other because of jealousy. Pretty much, girl. It's like that. That's crazy because 
if this person goes i think mom was telling us a story about this guy who came back had money went to open something like a business yeah which would have do you know how much employment would have come from that very much girl from that it was like it wasn't just like a small business guys it was huge like a what do you call it almost a very big like they're producing something that's mm -hmm. how big it was and they literally held back every document made everything ridiculously hard was speaking about him and he just packed up and left he went to another african country it was not even back to the states and opened it there because that is what it's and again it's superstition you can't even blame us for our close mindedness some people use this superstition to from jealousy but some people actually believe it yes like i'm sitting here and i'm talking i find it hard to tell you i don't believe in money rituals i find it hard to tell you i don't believe in the little mushrooms that grow and i have so much i have education like the scientific reasons for why this happens but i cannot let go of my superstition but i think the medium that you have like your own like medium where it's not as bad as other people who usually use it to hurt other people is that you might still be superstition but you look at facts unless it's absolutely ridiculous sometimes and i've heard stories maybe i really my first conclusion is not you're doing this that's not my first thought if i see someone rich or people have died in someone's family some people are just very unlucky in that and i it's so hurtful sometimes when someone's first thought towards you is you use them for money rituals how can they even grieve yeah so i think i believe in it but it has to be because really sometimes really like, some people have gone missing and things someone is found without arms without heads without legs well we i mean we even see here in the united states in the black market they do organs and stuff this is not even only in the united states everywhere have yeah. we ever come to the possibility that that is what is happening uh, guys <laughs> <laughs> good question <laughs> you know but i feel like sometimes we also try to i don't know if the idea of trafficking like that is worse than the idea of money of all this superstition so we choose to believe in superstition to be able to sleep at night do you think about that that's true i remember especially when christmas is coming they say this is the season for for ritual this is when you're sacrificing people yep. your people will tell you leave school go straight home don't talk to anyone don't eat random don't... animals because they say people turn they turn people into animals guys i've heard stories where they said this lady had a restaurant everyone wanted to eat at that restaurant they were like her pieces of meat were way bigger than everyone else true story know someone who ate there and she apparently confessed that she was in a secret cult where they were turning people into meat, meat and, and that's why it, it was so cheap and that's why she was cooking it and that because there's that once you eat it you're hooked you keep coming it's back it's like you're home. addicted to the food yeah that's crazy i heard about that too yeah like I'm, like it's there that's why i find it hard to be like no it doesn't i'm like it does but you need to really show me a lot for me to believe that it is happening because the factual part of my brain is just like, nah, there's probably an explanation to this, you know? Mm, I know, maybe the kid got lost on the way home. <laughs> like, you always want to... I would still give the benefit of the doubt, because some of these things, after a while, I feel like some people have died with this stigma, and it was never even there. It was not there. And yeah. some of them who are probably doing the evil stuff... Are just walking around. Are just walking around. Did you... Like, and then one thing, do you believe, like, when they say witchcraft, do you believe like someone's a witch, like wakes up, curses people, things of yes. evil things? But but <laughs> you don't. I I believe that. I really believe that. I believe. I also I think this is out of maybe the witch part, but I also believe that you can maybe hurt somebody so much and the person that's it's not even a in your head is not a curse, and they just utter. It's even the Bible, right? You the power of the mouth, and you're like you will never see any children in your home or something. Mm. I believe that it's possible for you if you have done something really bad and the power of the mouth and that person is what you, like so sincere, like it was really, I believe in that too. So guys, treat people how you want to be treated. Going back to the witch thing, I, I do believe that. I do believe there's some people who just wake up and are just that evil. Yeah, and talking about the witch thing, like I've had, <laughs> I've had personal experience, so... I do believe... What experience? I do believe in witches. 
like I was young, like crazy young. Memory I think I know what you're that talking about. Leave me. We went somewhere. It's this is crazy. It's almost like there's a place or a little community they know that most people there are witches. Like it's crazy. Witchcraft there's rampant. And the funny thing is, sometimes it can be one witch that is making that place like yeah. It's not even like a horde if you allow to use it, that word. But it was witches. known. And so I went over there, and this lady, you could, she liked me. She kept trying to say hi, hi. Tried to avoid her the whole night. Also, all of a sudden, it was impossible. So she greeted me and she was like, "Ah, pretty, pretty girl. It's really nice to, to talk to you." Not gonna lie, I don't. Who knows? Maybe who knows? It's maybe I was young, who's my mind or whatever. But I feel like I went home, and her, in a in red, was because we had a white car. She spent the whole night flying around that car. I think I read. I, I thought I heard the story different. I heard the story that. Um, you we we were there was it a burial or something but was something we went there for it was a burial and we went to the car and you saw them flying around that's how i heard that story are you sure your version is not um manual work saying it's my story <laughs> and considering i'm older than you and it was my experience i think i will go i was with alive my when you had this experience guys so needless to say, it's hard for me not to believe in witchcraft. <laughs> yeah, because you feel like you've had some a personal story to it. Yeah, so it's hard. It's almost like then am I crazy? But it felt so real. No one else could see it. It felt so real. Like now as an adult, I'm trying to convince myself like maybe I was a child, maybe I didn't see right, but No, I heard this story. So I could say, yeah, I think it was a witch girl. But yeah, anyways, ugh. wash Chills. it off, wash <laughs> it off, wash it off, and pray to the Lord, wash it off, wash it off, guys. So something else we want to talk about is just, um, I would just say, I feel like we already talked about it. We already talked about everything. Something that I want to talk about is like, um, let me just name it country fashion, things that we do in the community that is, um, there is this plan. In Mankon, by the village where I'm from, we call it Nkun. Yep. It's uh, traditionally we use it to mark boundaries. It's like since it's my land, this is yours. Um, but we also believe if someone is possessed with a spirit, witchcraft, or something, and you use that kun, that plan, whip or beat them, mm-hmm. I guess? you can literally beat the, the spirit the, yeah, out, of, out them. of them. It's almost like an exorcism. Yep, literally. I that one I find it hard to believe probably just because I'm seeing the physical side of someone screaming in pain. It doesn't it's not it's, it's not that hurtful. Have it's a you, plan. Have you excuse you? <laughs> I'm saying like the pain that they scream in, I don't know if that's possible. So you for are the trying plan. to see, okay, so you believe I now this is a good I, example. I believe in it. Oh yeah. Cause I believe I, cause that, I could tell you believe that the screaming is the spirit being yeah. being out of the body. I, I'm guys, I'm sorry. Like this is it has leaves, it's not that hard. Even the stems of Nkun are not that hard. There's a certain kind of scream that from your underbelly that you cannot tell me that Nkun is the reason why you're doing Do that. Do you also think that the people being beaten, if you have been not necessarily so brainwashed, you have been told you're a witch, you're a witch, you're a witch, and they start whipping you. Don't you think? Then you, we are. Whip- don't you think you just scream so they can say the spirit? No, is gone? or maybe I'm whip- Technically, I'm whipping the brainwashing out of your brain. <laughs> <laughs> but do you get my point? I'm like, maybe there's, maybe there's also a psychological part to it. Maybe it's just you reacting to it. Sure. <laughs> this is a perfect example of beliefs. I feel like I've heard a story of someone. Where they were like, oh, that person was not even shouting, but but I think I think so, because when we were kids in school and it was like a, I guess here you would say show and tell, my thing I brought was kung kung, and we were playing and whipping each other with it, so it's it's not that it's, it doesn't hurt that much. Oh, you and your friends just whipped each other for fun? Actually, yeah. Oh my freaking! <laughs> oh, so, sorry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's slim, but oh my. Yeah, we just wanted to know what the big deal was. Me and my friends read for fun. I read Ish. not really when I was in, you know, but still. Was, you were never curious to see what would happen if you got whipped by it? I'm pretty sure I wasn't possessed. You know, if you got whipped by Nkung, 
do you have something you need to tell this family no i just it's so interesting to me what i just i didn't understand like this it goes Guys, with this thing. I just want to say there is no kung around us right now. No one is being whipped today. No spirit <laughs> being exercised. What I'm even doing right now is ba- basically nothing. You see this book? I feel like it's a psychological pass. It was some of them just scream and they like it. Because do it's I feel like, like the louder you scream, they'll 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 believe it. Do I feel like some people do fake even deliverance services in church? Do I feel some people are faking it? Yes. True. Do you all feel that way? That is a story for another day. Fake prophets church the business of the church how you can tell the real one from the fake one that's like a whole conversation or yeah. episode of its own but yeah true i guess i'm being a little you know but i i do believe that what if your family hasn't told you family has told you that too you can put this family again we have to get that witch out of you you'll scream now that's what i'm saying i will i know i will scream but but the problem is that you are you will have that stigma around you. Remember when they said that someone been initiated and they come out from this thing, nobody was their friend. Oh yeah, it's almost like you come to school, no one wants to no sit one by want to you. Talk to you. No one wants to talk to you. So when the race says initiated, it's a thing where it's like they can do it by talking to you, by touching you or something. I want to call then, bong bong. Yeah. Sweets. Bong bong is sweets, it's candy. Thank you, Lyris. It's sweets, it's candy. It's like the entire series is something. It could be jewelry, perfume, clothes. Someone gives you a ride, someone touches Magazines. you. Magazines. Thank you. Someone kisses you, you share stuff. Um, and then it The kiss one? The one heard the kiss one. Hmm. So, y'all, <laughs> your boyfriends. <laughs> 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 I guess our suggestion is whip with them confess. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be like, that first kiss with that girl was interesting, man. Oh, <laughs> I, I was whipped, bro. <laughs> okay, I'm so I think Edna is disappointed at our ability to host. <laughs> y'all have to vote if this was the funniest podcast y'all had because Because mm. um uh, Edna like in the background, Edna is usually the one keeping me in line. She's pulling me back. I am keeping Lyris in line. So I know it's chaos. If I am keeping Lyris in line, we're chaotic. But um, Lyris, can you think about anything else? I Halloween-y. feel like we hit all the points. Guys, I think we should do this. Send us a clip of a Nollywood movie with a place that has, you know, Juju. We were going to do that. And all of that. Oh, Lord. You know what we have? We need to have an episode where it's like, guess the action. It's literally like a sound, and you literally guess the action. But we're so excited um, that you're here. You're listening to us. Happy Halloween, guys. We're recording this literally. So, as we're recording this, whip your boyfriends and come before you kiss them. Don't take any sweets, bong bong, from anybody. Stranger danger, please. No blood swapping. We don't, but I mean, if you want to be faithful. <coughs> <laughs> Anyways, please stay away from all these things. If you need me to advise you on how to Including- lock yourself in a room and never come out. <laughs> um, um, thank Guys, I'm you. joking. I'm trying to just, you know, keep it spooky for Halloween. Maybe some of you are scared and like, <gasps> That was a goal. I hope you were scared. <laughs> I hope you laughed. Because yeah, like we tried to lighten it. And this is a disclaimer. Don't go to Africa and the first thing you tell someone is, tell me about... Like, like don't like don't go calling people witches. When we see the dark part of Africa, we are really trying to be spooky and make it Halloween. It's As a possible. beautiful place. It's an amazing place, okay? So we are using a, a little bit of exaggeration, just fun to just, you know. So please... Don't, don't whip your boyfriends. Yes, and don't be ignorant. Yeah. Don't be ignorant. Wow, guys. Ignorant. Thanks. And a little tidbit we want to drop. This episode is second to the last for this year. And the next one is going to be a roundup for season two. Finality. Mm-hmm. It's got, the next one is going to be the season finale. We've come to like literally the end of 2022. We want to bring in 2023. We're going to have exciting new voices the next time. Uh, then we're going to take a break. <laughs> That's a podcast vacation, guys. But we're excited. You've been on this journey with us. You've stuck with us through another year. Um, you know, when I first slept and I woke up oh with my this God. dream of this podcast, 
and I told my sister, and she stole my idea. I'm kidding, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Edna is dying and she's laughing, but you can't hear her. Why? We do her voice. It's <laughs> Halloween, y'all. We thought what a way to celebrate Halloween. When she two days ago, I gave her lollipop. She was sucking, thinking that is it's regular lollipop. sweet. But you know, <laughs> you know, it was just so we could come over here and shine for this episode. Lyrics, any piecing out words to you got? Nope, unless you want more Nollywood stories. I no, got we don't get <laughs> But you guys, show us support, show us love, tell Edna to get herself fired and keep the cool sisters. Yo, the dynamic duo. Mm, 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 mm. (laughs) Goodbye, guys. Thank you. Thanks for listening and make sure to join us for our next episode. Follow African Teapot on both Instagram and Facebook for daily inspiration and motivation. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, African Teapot Podcast.